Odi Francis, KT News, Nairobi. Tukiachana na hayo Rais William Ruto amedokeza kuwa kuna uwezekano wa chama cha UDA kumtaja mwanamke kama mgombea mwenza wa urais kwenye chaguzi zijazo. Akizungumza kwenye uzinduzi wa mpango wa magavana wa kike nchini almaarufu G7. Rais William Ruto alisema ili kutekeleza kanuni ya thuluthi mbili ya jinsia nchini serikali inapaswa kutoa mfano katika uongozi. Mwanahabari Grace Nganga anaarifu zaidi. Machi saba, mwaka 2024 itasalia kuwa tarehe ya kihistoria kwa Kenya huku mkakati wa G7 ukizinduliwa rasmi na Rais William Ruto udhibitisho wa nguvu ya mshikamano wa wanawake unaulenga kuongeza ushirikishwaji na ujumuishwaji wa wanawake katika uongozi wa kisiasa nchini. But let me encourage you that um, what the women governors are doing they are doing more campaign than any campaign can be done in the jo in the in the good job they are doing in their counties they are not only inspiring other women to be leaders but they are making it easier for the country to elect women the next time round to increase the number of women governors from the current G7 it's not just a story. We're not just sitting here um, having this conversation and then going back to our homes. We have a strategy cut out for the next three years. Rais alidhibiti shakuwa mikakati kabambi tabuniwa ili kutimiza kiwango cha ujumushwaji wa kijinsia katika katiba kwa kumpa mwenye kiti wa chama cha UDA sisi lembarire jukumu la kuunda kanuni mpya ambazo zatahitaji mgombeaji urais wa kiume kuwa na mgombea mwenza wake wa kike au vinginevyo. Going forward. If a man is a candidate for president in our party, the woman must be the runner. And, and if a woman is a candidate, then the, the ma a man can be a running. Akikiri kwamba wanawake wengi waliunga mkono azma yake ya urais ikilinganishwa na wanaume. Rais aliwataka wanaume kuwa mstari wa mbele kuwalinda wanawake dhidi ya ukeketaji hasa katika maeneo ambako ukeketaji umekithiri. Men leaders to work in concert all of us to protect our children especially from FGM, early marriages and early pregnancies. Magavana wa kike waliochaguliwa alisema Ingawa kuna matumaini katika kufikia utawala wa theluthi mbili ya jinsia nchini mapambano ya wanawake katika siasa bado yanaendelea Please my brother Kemani Shongwa support us make sure we deliver the two thirds gender rule under your watch and we'll be very very happy Finally then and now to G24 and I'll reverse myself there on the G16 I pray that for you sisters whose hands you want held that we shall be up to the task as we work hard at retaining our seats because we also can't increase by reducing our numbers mnajua mkitupatia kazi sisi kama kina mama as we are always there to deliver kwa sababu ile kazi tuko nayo sisi ni kazi ya kufanyia wa Kenya na ile ingine ni kazi ya nyumbani kwetu baadhi ya maazimio ya mkakati wa G7 ambayo hayajashughulikiwa yalikuwa kutafsiri programu za ushauri zinazoanzishwa katika kaunti saba zinazoongozwa na wanawake na kushawishi uteuzi wa wanawake katika vyama mbalimbali vya kisiasa aidha walieleza ongezeko la ushirikishwaji wa wanawake katika ugatuzi na sauti katika kufanya maamuzi Umoja kati ya magavana wanawake na maseneta wanawake ili kufanikisha ugatuzi na kuhakikisha utawala bora na uwajibikaji wa kifedha Grace Ngangaketi News Nairobi Bila shaka changamoto nzuri